it's a beautiful summer's evening here in Christchurch at the AMI Stadium for a mouth-watering opening. It's hard to find words to say how excited I am in particular because India are in town and we've been looking forward to this tour for so long. If you're a cricket fan, you will have circled Wednesday the 25th of February and now that day and that night in fact has arrived. Now, feature for New Zealand rider is back from injury, so too Jacob Oram. Neil Broom is in the mix and uh, Ian Butler back uh, for his first match on home soil for quite some time. Grant Elliott, the 12th man, and for India, for Linda Sawag and Gambia, we've seen them out in the middle in Raina. Yuvraj Singh, and what a power hitter he's been in this form of the game. Sharma, Dhoni, their impressive skipper, the Patan brothers, Harbhajan Singh, Zahir Khan, and the exciting Ishan Sharma. This will be a test, no mills. New Zealand's senior bowler, Tim Salvey. An opportunity to swing the new ball. Here he goes. Gambia on the move. Just like that, Solag opens up the tour with half a dozen. He's had his first ball of the tour for six. First ball of the tour in an international game for six. What a statement. Man, he's exciting. <laughs> six years ago, he was the standout in a poor performing Indian side. He scored a couple of tons in the one day. As now the 2020s here. It's not beyond him to post three figures in this format either. What a start for him. How does Saudi respond? He hits another. That is unbelievable. Holy dooly, two sixes to open his account. Had the negative thought implanted in his head. He's delivered both balls on leg stump. He's got to get outside off stump. And that's nearly gone for six again. It has. Three in a row. And now Saudi will be really starting to struggle mentally here. Oh, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> 19 off the first over. He's bowling straight through him. Wonderful bowling from O'Brien. Ball straight. Not a bad strategy, so the Black Caps see Gambia out of here. He was keen to get another one away, wasn't he? This one just that short of a length. Didn't bounce as much as he thought. Was still right at the top of middle stump. He was expecting that to be more about waist height because of that snuck underneath, and he's out for six. 25 for one. Here we go. Going, going, gone. Massive. Fine leg is up and square leg is back on the fence. Oh, leg has gone through. Same leg now and it's now on a hat trick. What a comeback here from Ian O'Brien after Sawag has provided the early fireworks. It's the Wellingtonian, the go-to man, and he's sitting on a hat-trick here. Well, Sawag wasn't going to calm things down. He was going to keep swinging, and that's a goodie. That's gone through the gate. He wanted to hit it miles over mid-wicket. Couldn't do it. Missed it, and isn't O'Brien absolutely thrilled, as all the New Zealanders will be. What a key wicket. 26 he's out for. 32 for one. That's gone. That has gone big. Wow. Man there with the... Uh, protection on his head is going to need it if this continues already five sixes in the innings and we're only in the fourth over well i mentioned the length ball uh, could be the way to go but it's a double-edged sword because it's also the length that batsman will look to attack in this very manner uh oh that's gone that may have affected him because that was a really bad delivery and rightly spanked over point for six more Make that 54 for two after 5.1. Ravi, welcome in, and your boys have hit the ground running. And uh, that's why I said earlier they're going to excite the New Zealand crowds. Uh, they've got the talent, they're young, and they've got the exuberance of youth. Ah, oh, that's quality. Straight up from there, he should have a wicket. McCullum, Brendan is calling for it. The brothers are going to fight over it, but the gloves win. McCullum takes it in there, lose their third. Well, New Zealand will be happy with this. And that's the way the Indians will play their cricket. They'll come out there, play the big shots. They've got depth in batting. But what that does do is it gives the bowlers a chance. Now, 
trying his luck once too often and getting a leading edge we've seen on this track every now and then the odd ball does stop on the batsman so Sharma goes uh, India 54 for three that's close and that's given I reckon that was very close initially and Evan Watkin has uh, agreed with, it, with us and our views from upstairs and with Daniel Vittori more importantly that's gone beautifully bold and it was the arm ball you can see uh, quicker through the air that's plum he was looking to just paddle it around the corner and the New Zealand captain has outsmarted him he can be a dangerous player Yuvraj he goes for one and New Zealand right back in this 56 for four But it's on track, and now India have got real problems. That has not been a good batting start so far, and just in the eighth over, they see their skipper on the way back, their fifth wicket to fall. And again, smart bowling. You mentioned earlier, stock delivery, the one that comes back into the right-hander. And he's got it just right. The bounce surprising Tony a bit. Nothing wrong with the line and length there from Butler. India in trouble. Half the side gone, just 61 runs on the board. Not a good start. A very nervous one, in fact. And Patan wins that. He gets the early points in six of them. Well, uh, Indian spectators watching this won't be surprised. Well, he's got that. Now, uh, that's even better. That's long. McCullum's got early problems, just as Saudi had them. Now the off spinner, the first two deliveries, they go big. Well, I'm not surprised one bit. He's such a powerful striker, especially against the spinners. Catch Again, it. now then, how's the timing with this? Nothing wrong with it, it's even better. Three in a row. Wow. Is that a smile or a grimace? I think it's the latter. It's the latter. But I think this is a bit of fielding magic. I think so too. It's great presence of mind. It had to be only Oram who could pull this off. Tallest man in the New Zealand team. Good presence of mind. He's just this of perfection. He knows exactly where the boundary rope is. Realizes that he might be going over. He's done the right thing. Pushed it back into play. Now gets two feet in. When he comes back, he's got to get two feet in. He does that. Takes the catch. Brilliantly done. Dangerous Patan is dismissed. It needed brilliance in the field from New Zealand to get another wicket. And the fireworks from Patan come to an end. India 82 for six. 172 would be nice, but that's a long way off. We're going to need something of real substance from these two lefties. And they're going to get a straight boundary down the ground at the scene. Yes, just enough skin on the ball after it pitched for just the second four. Go on, Cats. Wow. Yeah. Speaking of Nathan McCullum and Jesse Ryder. And Patan, fairly soft. Well, it's a very good wicket. I mean, to bring Jesse Ryder into the attack. And straight away, he uses that little sort of change. It's kind of an off spinner, but flat. And Patan was through the stroke. Again, no structure to his game. Like uh, many of his uh, contemporaries tonight, he's gone for 12, it's 101 for 7. Oh, it's a big hit, we'll talk about cracking. Reiner goes 20 rows back, and it's Vittori, for the first time he's been struck. Oh, India will take those, Butler won't like it, it wasn't a bad ball, didn't deserve that. Four in the end. They'll be looking for some good strikes now. At this point, too, they just swing, looking for clean hits. It's, they're not big boundaries here. Now, that could be clean enough, is it? There's some interest there. No, no chance. That'll do. Now, this is a very good shot. It's a batsman who's anticipating where the bowler is going to bowl, and that's going to be full. 
There he goes again. This one's very high. It could be taken. Is it going to be taken? No, it's not. It's a 50 for Reiner. Well played. Extremely well played. And what a start to this over. Two sixes. I think it's been a, a superb innings from him. Bowlers around at this stage. That's exactly that. Gets four. Smart thinking from the Turbinator. Oh, you like that one, didn't you, Ravi? You stepped your feet up here in the commentary box. One for India, the clever stroke. You see this so often. Batsman knowing the bowler's looking to go full. If he can get the bat out there, boy, he had to hit it. He gave, he gave Southie a huge look. But he did hit it. That's the aim of batting, isn't it? This time he smashed it away on the onside. What a good effort from Armijan. Four more. Well, that banner would be up now in the crowd. There is a banner somewhere there saying Singh is king. Last ball of the innings. What can Harbhajan do? Goes for the dab. He loses the middle stump. Yeah, oh, but he did a good job. He did a really good job for his team at Harbhajan. He's there to bowl his off face, but he can obviously bat as well. It's given India a total uh, to fight against, try and uh, restrict New Zealand to under 162. Right, the players are back on the park, and that's the equation for New Zealand to go 1-0 up and uh, draw the early advantage in this series against India. First of 2020 internationals. There's a second one in Wellington come Friday night. So 163 at a tick over eight runs per over. Ryder, Jesse Ryder on strike. Brendan McCullum at the other end. And Irfan Patan with the new ball in his hand, and that is the stats. For Jesse Ryder, they read uh, an average of 25, a strike rate of 142. In fact, Zahir Khan will be the first bowler for India. 23 matches, 22 wickets, and an RPO of uh, under eight, which is probably acceptable. If he can do that tonight and the other Indian bowlers can fall in line, then uh, they'll just get home, but they need something special. Here's uh, the first ball of New Zealand's reply. And a beauty. Straight away from Zahir. Oh, that's straight. Very straight and out. Yes, Evan Watkin is saying to Isha Sharma, you can have the perfect start. Wright is not happy. I think he thought it pitched outside leg stump. It was certainly hitting. It was certainly hitting all right, Smithy. Was it full enough to pitch in line? That's the question. I think it has. I think that is pitched on leg and hitting off. I believe that to be a good decision for India. Not Ryder, out for one, two for one. Hey, that's out. I reckon that is out. Oh, my goodness me. Well, they can't run. There's no shot being played. This is pandemonium. I believe this is absolutely dead out, and Evan Watkin hasn't given this one. Let's see what Hawkeye predicts. Ooh. Ooh. Doesn't matter where it hits him. If he's not playing a shot, it's where it's going to go on and hit, and that's it off stump. Oh, that's better from Guptal. Gets one in the slot and finally gets somewhere near the middle of the bat. And this will ease the pressure that Guptal was caught in between, just simply trying to survive out there against some good bowling and score. Oh, that's a good shot. That's making use of a free hit. Stand and deliver stuff. I'll tell you what, bloke at the other end, watching this at the non-strike, as he might have thought, oh, that's a bit me. Oh, he's got away with that. Oh, man. Should have been a free hit. Doesn't matter. It was a good hit. The first six of the innings. And Guttel gets it over one of those three. Lovely weighted shot. Clever. Clever stroke. Really clever stroke from Guptill. Once again, looking for something around about the line of off stump or just outside to get into the onside. Dami was obviously going to go square, looking to go behind, and he just helped it on its way. It's a good stroke. It's a sensible stroke. Straight up in the air now. How much of this has he got? Patan chasing back. He won't get it. He won't stop it, in fact. It's just rolled agonizingly into the rope. So Guptal, it was clever, but there was an element of risk involved for quite some time. McCallum on strike. He's not going yet. He's on four. Yeah. And he'll get four here. Got inside the line early. 
So Ifan Patan is greeted uh, with his first ball. Next one, out of here. Wonderful stroke. Gupta really has found his range from mid wicket round to deep fine leg, and he is nailing every opportunity. And again, high, big, and a long way once more. Gupta, two in a row now, doing a say wag. Terrific striking. Just feel that Tony will have to look at his spinners at some stage. It's given. Got through that. Not really the defences of Guptil, but it seemed a bit of a nothing shot. He got caught on the crease, and Abhijan went through him as he always does. If you give him a sniff, he is too good, and Guptil is gone. Good innings. Yes, I think he just walked across his stumps uh, a little too much and looked to play it on the onside. Very square. And this is a lucky break for the Indians. Guptil, the set batsman, gone. It gives India a sniff. New Zealand, 56 for two. That's a good strike. Little drift from Harbhajan, but it didn't drift to the boundary. It was a screamer from McCullum. That's his first six. Chance to just push one on side. He's gone over extra cover. Outstanding. Now, this is a terrific shot. Again, uh, walking across the stumps down the track. It was the slow delivery. Picked it nicely and stayed still. That's gone. Just picked up and swung away. Poor delivery from Patan and Taylor too good. He just jumped all over it. That's gone as well. Holy cow, that is a big hit. That has gone into darkness. Oh, that's huge. It's the wrists again. The speed that he gets the bat through the hitting zone. Yeah, he's got him all over the place. Zahi can't too good. Just felt Taylor was looking in that area and he went too far with it. Well, Zahi Khan had moved his man out on the leg side boundary to further in front of square leg. Because of that, Taylor's got further to the offside to get it finer. He went too far. Gave him too much a look at the stumps, and he's in him. Yeah, and he's fired up. Knew he needed that wicket. Good innings from Ross Taylor. Out for 31, 106 for three. Big hit, and all the way. Good stroke. Down the ground, straight. So, risk-free. He didn't quite get it, as you saw from his wry smile. But what a good area to hit. It's beautifully chipped into the gap. That'll run away for four. That's a true cricket shot. You said it, Smithy. He's not tried to hit the ball too hard here. He just stroked it through the offside. Oh, Willem's got plenty of that. He won't be changing the bat. That's a six and a valuable one for New Zealand. Is that the one that really hurts India last ball of the over? It is 135 for three. Twenty-eight from twenty-four. Run rate required now. Yes. Callum has, uh, I think, worked this out. He's going to come back for two. That's beautiful placement on a small ground. Really is, and they could go again if they want to. They will, and they're under pressure now. I'm going to ask, and uh, they'll probably go upstairs for safety reasons. But I think this is more out of frustration from Donny. It's seeing a bit of sloppy stuff. No backing up. Oram, such a tall man, he uses his reach to good advantage, reaches home easily in the end. That's an excellent start for New Zealand in this over. Three runs, an all run. Change of pace, Oram picks the gap beautifully. Won't get four, I wouldn't think it'll get run down. No, oh, well, I don't think it does. I think uh, Yusuf Patan was on the spot to get the best view of all, and... Uh, Right to could not run it down. Oh, it's gone. Not perfectly, but it's in a gap. And it'll uh, just be four for Jacob Oram, so timing not perfect there. I was just going to bring up the point that India should have bowled their 20 overs by now, and uh, penalties are meant to apply. I guess there'll be a bit of leeway in this game. It's going to finish shortly anyway.
Interesting to note that Evan Watkin, the umpire uh, in control out there, is in domestic cricket. Uh, he penalised the team uh, seven runs the other day. And it's uh, a big six, a really big six. Clears the rope by a good uh, 10, 15 metres, and Brendan McCullum has 50 against his name, and it's been a responsible one at that. That's six, and that is it. That is it. New Zealand take the early honours in this magical summer we're looking forward to. They've uh, done it with eight balls to spare and seven wickets in the bank. Tonight, Ravi, the batsmen have done the job. And that's the way it should be in this form of the game. Don't leave it to the tail enders, accept the responsibility, and New Zealand have learnt that lesson. They certainly have a nice way to finish things off. Terrific cricket shot. Clears the ground comfortably. We've seen so many sixes hit today. And really, uh, from the halfway stage, it looked all New Zealand uh, once they had eight wickets in hand. In the end, uh, they've done it easily. McCullum batting right through the innings. And uh, there'll be a couple of lessons to be learned uh, for India from this defeat. 24 sixes. That is uh, outstanding entertainment. India 162 for eight. Probably 20 shy, in all honesty, with their very good batting lineup. They let themselves down at the start when they were five down for not enough. And New Zealand's run chase was well paced, well timed, led by Brendan McCullum, Jacob Oram, Ross Taylor, and Martin Guptill. They did their job well with blade in hand, and players, uh, good spirit between these two sides. They know that the next one is just two days away, and India will regroup, get up to the capital, and try and level the issue here. Vittori will be happy that his side has actually gone on and done the job. He was furious a couple of times in Australia, but he should be all smiles tonight. Well, well the last rites have been performed by Brendan McCullum and Jacob Oram. New Zealand setting out after 163 to win game one of these two 2020 internationals. And they have done it in style. They've done it with eight balls to spare and on a very good uh, surface and uh, a ground with very small boundaries. They have uh, come to the party hitting 11 sixes in the process. McCullum 56 from 49. Guptall, who got the, the innings underway with a, a very good 41 from 28. He is a very pure hitter of the cricket ball and plays some lovely shots.